Hey, good Tuesday afternoon. I'm meteorologist Molly McLeod. Our quiet stretch of weather that we were treated to last week has come to an abrupt end. This all started yesterday, this wet pattern, as we start to tap into some tropical level moisture. This is a stream, a plume of moisture that's stretching straight from the Gulf of Mexico, even starting to tap into some Atlantic moisture. It's making our humidity levels way up there. If it's not raining over you right now, it feels really sticky out. Our dew points are where they should be during the summer. This is getting some very scattered and isolated showers going. You can see there's not much organization to them. They're, what, they're stretching across central New York, and they're going to continue to be on the random side until we get an organizer to come through. This cold front is going to drop in from the northwest. It's going to start to tap into this moisture, and that's going to start to bring the heavier rain into central New York starting this evening and lasting overnight into the day on Wednesday. This is enough to caution us for a flash flood watch. It starts this afternoon at 4 o'clock, lasts overnight and into Wednesday morning. You can see it's very widespread for almost all of central New York. I think the only exception is up in Jefferson County. A flash flood watch. We're going to watch this and that just means that flooding could happen. It doesn't mean that it is happening right now. It doesn't mean that it is absolutely going to happen where you are, but it does mean that we need to stay alert for the rest of the day. Keep an eye on triple Doppler radar. You're also going to want to check CNYcentral.com for the latest watches or warnings if flash flood does go up later on in the afternoon. Always remember that if you get our CNY Central mobile app, we push those alerts right to your cell phone. So let's plan this out with future cast for you. We start at noon. You can see things are still pretty scattered and random across central New York. There's no real organization to them. We're going to keep that into the afternoon. A few of these isolated showers out ahead of the front could pack a little bit of an extra punch, come with some heavier downpours as they start to tap into that moisture. You can see the front starts to line things up, though, especially near five o'clock. Things are going to start to organize a little bit. You see those areas of red. That's some heavier downpour as well. As we head into the evening, we're expecting overall an average of two to four inches of accumulation of rain by the time we get into Wednesday morning. Not everyone's going to see two to four inches. A few dry spots like down in Cortland may see a little bit less. A few wet spots with some embedded thunderstorms or some heavier downpours may even see a little bit more. The, the name of the game is just to stay aware and keep an eye on the radar, though. This system makes its slow exit starting Wednesday afternoon. We'll get some brief dry time, but then the rest of the seven-day forecast is pretty unsettled as well. We get a big cool down after that cold front comes through back into the 60s by Wednesday. Morning rain, a very small chance of isolated showers Thursday and Friday for the start of October. Then as we head towards the weekend, we have a couple weather systems coming our way that could affect our forecast. As of right now, we're going worst case scenario, cloudy skies with some moderate rain showers.